All right guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to look at Ray Nitschke, number 47 on the NFL's top 100 greatest players of all time list. I have looked at Ray Nitschke before, if you've seen that video. I'm, try I'm just trying to think, what was his nickname? I feel like it was the ugliest man in the NFL. <laughs> but we're about to find out. If Ray Nitschke is that guy with, with uh, missing teeth, I think I'm on the right track. Anyway, let's get into it, guys. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Oh. Check out Major Key Physiques for the best in sports apparel and workout accessories. They have free shipping worldwide for all orders over $150. Use discount code JACOB10 for an extra 10% off. Enjoy the video, and I'll see you there. Ray Nitschke, as told I by... Probably Raymond had the greatest journey in life during his football career. Yeah, he came into the league really angry, I think. And by the end of it, he was seen as a leader and a motivator and lost that attitude. Or he came in as a pussy and then someone said something to him in the film room and then from that point, he became a beast. I can't remember exactly what the story was. Let's find out. I've ever known about. He lost his father when he was three, lost his mother when he was 11, so kind of grew up uh, a little bit tough yeah. on the streets of Chicago and um, was kind of in a certain way like a junkyard dog. Coach would get up on the tower once in a while to watch practice. He happened to be on the field behind the offense at this time and Ray was over by the tower and the wind came up, pretty significant wind. Strong enough to blow the tower over. And <laughs> it landed on him, yeah. Actually, a bolt from the um, tower penetrated Ray's uh, helmet. And uh, he was trapped under the tower. And Coach Lombardi said, Somebody's under the tower. Who is that? And he kept running over there. And it's Nitschke. Oh, hell. It's only Nitschke. <laughs> You'll be all right. <laughs> Man, he must have been hard. Ray Nitschke was a rookie in 1958, and right away he made a name for himself. But it wasn't the name he wanted. What was it? Everybody called him the judge, and he called, he said, and we were talking one time, yeah, they call me the judge. I yeah. My time on the bench, they call me the judge. <laughs> <laughs> so he was, the first couple of years in Green Bay, he was just nasty. They called him the judge because he sat on the bench too much. <laughs> Snarling One of you guys should use that name. Trusted. You guys got any any teammates you sort of want to give a bit of shit to, and they spend a lot of time on the bench. Call them the judge. Anybody didn't really uh, fit That's in a very good one. well, and it didn't matter. I remember you. seeing this exact clip of him running with a bald head, like mid twenties, fucking shredded. I was like, man, this guy's an actual beast. We're in shorts and t-shirts. You always buckled your hat when you went close to Raymond, because he was going to hit you. Brag, though. Oh. Get him. Just happy to be there, I think, his first couple of years. But he got this, this desire to be perfect. And you can see him make tackles, and um, they weren't perfect. 
he'd get up and kick the ground and be upset with himself for not making a perfect tackle. So he developed a quest for perfection, I think, and excellence. <laughs> He kicks him. He's like, get out of here, and then gives him a boot. Look at this shit. This is hilarious. Classic. He developed a Watch this. For perfection, I think, and excellence. <laughs> I, studied, I really prepared myself. I practiced hard. I was always ready. And Go, Nitschke. And then they came on the field. Boom. That I wasn't prepared for. He quit drinking. Then he found a woman that loved him. Then he found a team that loved him. And he was able to accept the love of that team and give it back. And Raymond became a totally different person off the field. He was the same junkyard dog on the field as he always was, but off the field, he was a beautiful human being. He, he turned into one of the most considerate, thoughtful, polite, caring, loving human beings I've ever known. That's insane. That he, he, he was certainly not like that at the start, was he? He was a junkyard dog. Stories like that that make you, make you really happy, man. They really do. As a player other teams love to hate, it's Ray Nitsch, oh, look. number 60. I got one of those. Green Bay's all pro middle linebacker. Oh, the big double freaking forearm. Ultimately <laughs> perfected both his game and his character. That's a nice tackle. He began his career journey as a hellraiser and ended it as a testament to perseverance. What are you done, Nitschke? I desire to play every down like it's the last down. I think that's what it's all about. Wow! You take it away the fans <laughs> and the bands and through everything into that. Wait, <laughs> <and, and laughs> oh, yeah, I've I've seen that clip as well. This one where he comes in, just gives him the biggest shoulder with the most weight behind it he can. This one right. Bands and the bands and. TV Not, cameras. Uh, yeah, that one, sorry. You can take away the fans this one. The Look at the weight behind it. TV camera. Oh, fuck. It's just a fucking. Get, it, get down there, mate. Very good to me, especially playing with the Packers. And I know it's made me a better father and a man. What a legend. Ray Nitschke. What a legend. I have done a, a video on him before. It wasn't the ugliest person. It wasn't the ugliest man in the NFL. I can't remember who that was. I can't, I cannot remember for the life of me. Who was it? The guy with no teeth. Um, the guy with no teeth. Let me look this shit up. I gotta find it. In fact, you know what, let's... <laughs> Who was it? Jack Lambert. That's the one. Steelers, by the way. Now. All right, guys. Uh, that was Ray Nitschke. I really hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. <laughs> that clip of him kicking the guy after pushing him is, is classic, mate. It's just, it's him to a T on the field, but it looks like off the field, he really changed as a man, which makes me happy watching that. So anyways, guys, if you did enjoy it, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. There's plenty more content to come. And in the meantime, I'm going to get on to number 46, Roger Stoback. I'll see you soon. Peace out.